Okay, I'm Hayley Quinn and I'm here with the fabulous Rebecca Dakin. Thank you very much, aka the Great British Sex Expert. See, I let you say it this time because I know you like to say it. <laughs> um, and we're going to be talking about uh, sexy smiles and how you can tell the difference between a just like she's just being friendly and polite smile or like a sexy come here tiger smile. Because honestly, the amount of times I see women looking at guys and you're thinking, is she into me or is she squinting at the fire exit behind my shoulder? And you might not know or be able to tell. So we're going to do a mini, mini run through so you can actually visually see what the difference looks like. So you know next time when you get that smile to act on it because you've actually shared a moment. So in this role play, I think I've already agreed that I'm going to be the boy because I feel quite butch today. That's fine to be the boy. <laughs> I'll be the boy. So I'm going to be the boy at the bar. Okay. And you're the lady. So, right, okay. So here we'll do, this is a, a very obvious one, which you guys, I say you don't want to get this wrong because if you do and you go and approach every woman that smiles at you and she rejects you, you're just going to get very disheartened. So it's important that you don't miss out on those opportunities when you, she is actually giving you the come on. So I'm going to do the little sort of cockeye here, which is I'm going to look at the nether region and then up at the eye now that oh, is, sounds <laughs> exciting that is she is checking you out so we'll do we'll we'll do that oh, I, am i just standing still here yeah okay let's right. do that so uh... okay right so that's like the equivalent of you looking at her boobs and yeah, up to yeah, her yeah. face right because <laughs> people often use their eyes to look where they want to go so and mm. you might find this really funny because most guys think that like, you know, women aren't interested in men, don't want to go out with anyone. Not true. It's just women, which I'm completely against by the way, but women generally think that the only things that they can do to actually get a guy interested in them or meet more men is to basically turn up and look attractive and that's it. Yeah. They feel like those are the only two tools at their disposal. She, so she ain't gonna come and chat you up Unless, unless she's heard some of my awesome advice, in that case she might, uh, but, <laughs> but otherwise uh, she won't. She'll just literally stand there, she'll look sexy, and she'll give you a look of approval which says, come and say hi come. to him, come. Uh, and, and, it, and for guys, often you might misread that signal because it might feel brief. Um, what I will say about signals is I find that if you feel someone is making eye contact with you or you feel intuitively mm. that there's a something there I think you're rarely wrong um, it's one of those bizarre things like you know how you sense if someone's look, looking, looking at, at you. you you've got to get it right between are they looking at you because you're looking at them and they're like thinking this is this creepy guy's looking at me is he still looking at me so I'm just gonna keep looking oh he is still looking and, and you, you don't want to get into one of those sort of standoffs do you, right. with, the, with the looking where it can get misinterpreted right so I mean and I also have to say for the guys you don't actually you don't need a smile to approach. She cannot have noticed yeah. you because most people are just kind of in their own world and sometimes you have to engage with her and show her your personality to make that work. However, if you do have a smile and, and she's already aware you're there and she's already interested, it's like everything's ready to go. You just need to act on that initiative. Mm. So are there any other signals that a guy yeah. can sort of look out for if Absolutely. he's looking for those so, signs that she's into okay. it? Okay, so um, a raised eye, raised eyebrow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> A raised eyebrow. Shit. You know what? I've got a funny. I've got a funny fact about raised eyebrows. Uh, in all cultures, anthropologically, everywhere in the world, if you do raise an eyebrow, or like men who do the double eyebrow raise, <laughs> that's that's a sec sexual come on signal. Everywhere, no culture there in the world go. doesn't have that as a come there on signal. Go. So that's how universal. That's so Hello. Hello. Yeah, because women all use their yeah. eyes. Because remember, that's all they've got to. They feel yeah. that's all they've got to play with. So holding eye contact, smiling, um, and sometimes you know if she's really attracted to you. I'm, I'm a sucker for this. If I really fancy a guy, I might hold his eye contact, smile, and then I'll go. <laughs> It all gets a bit much. <laughs> but it probably doesn't look like that. I know what you're talking about. It probably doesn't look like that though. It probably looks more well, like, like a bit coy. Coy. Because you'll so play look and then you, you look to the light. Look, if it's a little bit of a shy look away. Right. I mean, if it's sort of looking and then like. <laughs> if it's like looking and then go, oh God, run away. Mm. Different. But this is that's yeah. actually called the coit it's called coy. the coital gaze. Coital gaze. Coital. Which, which is where you make eye contact, then she looks at the floor, and then she looks back again. Also known as the cock eye. Yeah. And that is a, that eye. is the biggest come on, that you mm, can ever really see. Most flirty, isn't it? Yeah, so I often think when things are going well, if I'm on the outside and I'm, as I always find myself, watching in on one of my guys, chatting up a lady, if she starts to sort of like tilt her hair, tilt, yeah, uh, and, yeah, and, and also it. just move her chin, so she's yeah. not, she goes from this to sort of slightly more mm, submissive, right. dare I say it, uh, I go, this is going really, yeah, really yeah. well. So if you're looking That's out for nice. those early sexy signals, 
where actually if a woman's a bit coy or a bit shyer, if she's tucking her chin in or the head is going slightly more to the side, if she drops her eye down and then, and then looks back up. up, if there's a slight raised eyebrow and maybe mm -hmm. if there's a little sexy smile. So it's not like a, hey, it's a, you know, chin down, smile, eye contact. And look at us, we're both just rocking on the spot now <laughs> like a pair of idiots. <laughs> Uh, these might be slightly exaggerated, but these are li yeah. these little signs that you as a man might miss, but actually these are the things that women have been told, like this is their best stuff, this is their mm. best, most obvious signals they feel they're able to Don't give you. Don't miss it. I mean, and there's also the length of time they're going to hold your gaze right. for. If somebody looks at you and they straight away look away and they're busy looking at something else, then they're not interested. If they look at you quickly but then do the coy, then that's a, a common. But also, if they look at you and they hold your gaze for two or three seconds, that's really, really powerful. That's definitely saying, I'm interested, come and talk to me. They're trying to send messages through their yeah, eyes. Yeah, and that's quite, it's quite difficult to do sometimes, isn't it? To really Oh, something. bloody hell, yeah. I'll probably be like <laughs> clinging yeah, yeah. onto the table but as I'm I, doing it. Ideally, it would look something like this, wouldn't it? Yeah, strong and then sexy and then, oh, you know, so the message transfers. If you feel a bit of a <gasps> inside, please, and all you have to do, I, I got, I've got to steal this line from one of my clients, actually, is you just walk over and you say, uh, uh, I think, you know, I think we just shared a moment. My name's whatever. Oh, I like that. I like that. And it's like, ooh, and it's a little bit, it should feel a little intimate, intimate and a little jittery, mm. and a little exciting for her. So if you mm. don't know what to say, just say that, you know, remember the first line does not have to be genius. It just has to be something. something. Absolutely. Okay, that's been awesome. Well, I hope you go and actually go and flirt with loads more girls in bars this weekend. Please do it. Do it. Do it. Uh, or coffee shops or any daytime <laughs> environment, also good. Uh, if you want to hear more of uh, Rebecca's tips, where can they find you? They can find me at RebeccaDakin.com. Okay, awesome. Thanks, guys. I'll be back again next week with another advice video.